Hello, my name is Larry Burkholder, Training Manager, Digger Specialties. In front of me on the floor is a 8 inch square smooth column, 8 foot tall in the box and we're going to install that here in this facade. This is a carpenter's temporary post in place. This is going to be installed as a structural weight bearing column. This same column could also be installed as a wrap like I did over here with my round fluted column. So we're going to open the box. I've of course cut the tape and you can see we have four staves. You can see the styrofoam. You can see the microfoam to protect the finish between the staves. And this is coming shipped with the capital, base, L brackets, and instruction sheets. The first step of installing a DSI aluminum column, no matter which model it is, is when, especially when it's a structural weight bearing member, you're going to want to get the length or the height of your opening. You're going to want to cut your staves a quarter to a one eighth of an inch longer than your opening. And of course, every column can be installed as a wrap as well. In many installations, you're going to need to cut each stave to a specific length in the field. You're going to use a chop saw or a, uh, uh, another type of circular saw and you will use a 80 tooth carbide tip blade to cut the aluminum. Square columns are available in four designs. We're going to be working with the square smooth. There's also a square smooth with the astrical which is the identical column shaft. There's a square recessed and a square fluted. All four models will go together the same way. So I've connected two sides there's a male female portion that you're just going to insert the two and then it uh, taps with the rubber mallet to assemble these two staves. We're now ready to install the third stave. I've attached or inserted the stave on the male female end. We're going to roll it on the side and again we're going to use our rubber mallet and it will just snap in place and create a nice seam. We'll now roll it on its back. We are now ready to install our fourth and final stave and you see I have it sitting on top of the other three staves in their appropriate location and again it's rubber mallet taps. Put everything in place and then we'll keep right on rolling here. We'll go along and uh, make sure all our seams are nice and tight. Give it a roll. One more roll. And the column is completely assembled and is now a structural weight bearing member ready to install. Earlier in the video I had stated to cut your, your stave a 1 8 to 1 quarter inch longer than your opening. So this is the carpenter installed temporary support post and we now need to raise the roof. We're going to use this apparatus here which is a little bit longer. We protected the top with the rag and we're going to use our uh, mallet here to simply put this into place. And now we can remove the carpenter installed support post. 